You know, I'd had a uh, motorcycle accident last summer, and after uh, in the ER, the ER doc at my hospital at home had picked up on something, and he thought I had a problem, and so I was sent up to St. Francis after I healed up for additional testing. I chose St. Francis to come to, number one, for the recommendation of my personal physician. I, being a paramedic, have transported people up here, and I've always liked the personal care that's given at this hospital. You're not just a number. After the testing, they found I had a patent ductus arterial, which causes backflow into the lungs and into the right side of the heart, which eventually will kill you. So it needed to be repaired. I was referred to a cardiologist up here and went to him and uh, we tried doing some 3D CT scans and some other things to try to find out what was going on. We went on to have a heart cath to confirm everything. And at that time, they also were able to find the patent ductus arterial when they did the cath. The two choices I had was to have my chest opened up or have it done as an endo procedure through the arteries, which I chose the latter because of my job. I didn't, I could see this as being a career ending thing if I had had my chest opened. The procedure itself was uh, they went in and dissected both femoral arteries and ran the guide wires, camera, and all the other equipment they needed and the stent graft up through the two femoral arteries and met in the aortic arch and then placed the arch over the defect and uh, plugged it off that way. Very non-invasive compared to having your chest opened up. My understanding was one of the first times it had been done in this area. I woke up in the ICU about 12.30, quarter to one in the afternoon. There were two ICU nurses assigned to me. They treated me like I was at home, anything I needed, anything I wanted. If I had pain, I was to immediately let them know. They kept coming in and reassuring me, if you have any problems, please let us know. We will take care of them. And they were very prompt in doing that. It, uh, they just did a great job. I had to take it easy for about three weeks, and then I was released to go back to work at three and a half weeks. I have been in every hospital uh, in the area over the years. There are several good hospitals in the area, but the care that I was given at St. Francis seemed to be more personalized. I didn't feel like a number. I felt like the nurses and everybody really and truly cared. They were constantly checking on me. They were constantly asking if I needed anything, if I wanted anything. And for myself personally, being on the other side of the bed that I'm not used to being on, they made me felt, feel very, very comfortable with what went on. My wife stayed here at the hospital. Uh, she was given all the information. Uh, she told me that she knew everything that was going on in the OR while I was in the OR. They explained to her what would be happening to me when she first seen me in the ICU. As I woke up and everything, I did not have to explain to my wife how I felt and what I was doing and what was going on because they'd explained everything to her so well, she knew exactly what was going on. I'm back to 100% doing what I love to do, being a firefighter and a paramedic. I continue to be able to scuba dive with my wife, which is something we're very passionate divers. We love to go. We also like to travel on motorcycle, which we're still being able to do and being able to do easier, as a matter of fact. The uh, staff at Franciscan St. Francis, they, they definitely saved my life uh, if this wouldn't have been found and wouldn't have been uh, caught at the time, I probably would not have finished my career and retired from the fire department. I would have probably been either having a lung transplant or I would have probably died before I got off the department.